Good day everyone. So in this video lesson, we will discuss about theorems and angles formed by tangent and secants. By the way class, uh, yung i-discuss di ko dito ay all about practice exercises. Kasi dun sa previous video lesson natin, diniscuss ko na yung concept ng limang theorems on angles formed by tangents and secants. So ito ay uh, para mas ma-practice kayo at para mas maunawaan nyo yung Uh, different theorems on angles formed by tangents and secants. So, magbibigay ako ng limang questions. Okay? So, like for example, we have, if the measure of arc CE is equal to 160 and the measure of arc BD is equal to 80. So, what is the measure of angle CAE? So, as you can see, class, meron tayong, tayong dalawang Uh, secant no, na nag-intersect uh, in the exterior of the circle. So, kung matatandaan natin, ito ay uh, theorem number 1. So, since kinukuha natin yung measure ng angle CAE, so, balikan natin yung theorem number 1 and sinasabi sa theorem number 1, if two secants intersect in the exterior of a circle, then the measure of the angle form is one half the positive difference of the measure of the intercepted arc. So, ibig sabihin, uh, pagkukunin natin yung angle CAE, that is one half the difference of uh, the two intercepted arc. So, let's say, that is the... So, therefore, that is equal to one half times the difference of arc CE and arc BD. So, ang gagawin lang natin, class, substitute lang natin. So, yung given measure ng arc CE natin is 160, and yung BD natin is 80, then subtract natin, 160 minus 80, the answer is 80. Then, get uh, 80 divided to, or one half of 80, that is 40. So, therefore, the measure of angle CAE is equal to 40. Example number 2, or question number 2, we have... If the measure of arc PQR, so arc PQR, so this one, is 220 and the measure of arc PR is equal to 140, what is the measure of angle PMR? So as you can see, class, meron tayong dalawang tangent. No? Meron tayong dalawang tangent na nag-intersect in the exterior of a circle. Okay, so since nang kinukuha natin is the measure of angle PMR, PMR class, so anihin natin, no? uh, balikan natin kung ano yung theorem number 3 natin. Diba sa theorem number 3 natin, ang sabi doon, if two tangents intersect in the exterior in the In the exterior of the circle, so na W ulit to, then the measure of the angle form is one half the positive difference of the measures of the intercepted arc. So, ibig sabihin, class, kung kukunin natin yung angle PMR, that is one half times the measure of PQR minus the measure of arc PR. So, ang gawin lang natin, substitute lang natin. So, yung arc PQR natin is 220, yung yung arc PR natin is 140. So, 220 minus 140, that is 80. And then, one half of 80, the answer is 40. So, the measure of angle PMR is equal to 40. Next. If arc EB, so if arc EB, so ito ay theorem number 4, no? Sa uh, video lesson natin, in, sa previous video lesson. So, pwede nyo panoorin yun. If arc EB is 45, so ito class, tingnan maigi ha. Yung arc EB daw natin is 45. And then yung arc CD natin is 49. What is the measure of arc EFB and BFD? Okay, so tingnan natin yung illustration natin. So sabi sa uh, theorem number 4 natin, if two secants intersect, In the interior of a circle, then the measure of the angle form is one half the sum of the measure of the arcs intercepted by the angle, and its vertical angle. So, tignan natin class. 
if your arc EB daw is 45, okay, so if your arc EB is 45, so alam natin na pagkukunin natin yung angle EFB class that is one half, the sum of uh, yung intercepted arc. So kung kukunin natin yung angle na to, ito yung dalawang intercepted arc niya, kabilaan class. Okay, kapag kukunin natin yung angle na to, so kukunin natin yung, uh, yung sum ng intercepted arc na to. And then, divide it by 2 kasi 1 half of their sum. Since dito, kukunin muna natin yung angle EFB. So, paano natin kunin? So, yung angle EFB natin class, that is 1 half. Uh, so, 45, yung arc EB is 45 plus arc C is 49. And then, alam natin class that the answer is, okay, so, one, 45 plus 49, that is 94, tapos kalahati ng 94, that is 47. Now, ang tanong ngayon, paano natin kukunin yung arc BFD? Okay? So, paano natin kukunin ngayon yung arc BFD? Yes, uh, we're going to apply, so sabi nga dito, so, some of the measure of the arcs intercepted by uh, and its vertical angle. So, ito vertical angle to. So, uh, di ba, one of the, yung napag-aralan natin, nakapag vertical angles, they are congruent. And then, nag-perform lang yung vertical angle kapag meron tayong linear pair. So, kapag uh, meron tayong linear pair, ibig sabihin, the two angles form a linear pair and then the angles are supplementary. So, since ito, may given tayo dito na 45, ano, but is it's 45? Okay, class. So, again, so yung measure ng angle EFB natin is 47. Okay? So, 47. So, ibig sabihin, this is 47, class. Now, paano natin makuha yung angle BFD? Kung ay ito lang yung given natin. So, sabi dito sa theorem natin, since they are vertical angles, and then kapag meron tayong vertical angles, nagpo-form lang yun kapag meron tayong linear pair. So, ang sabi class, kapag meron tayong talawang angles that form a linear pair, so ito, so the angles are supplementary. So, kapag supplementary, ibig sabihin, kapag in natin itong dalawa, 180. So, ang gagawin natin, so kapag in natin yung angle EFB plus angle BFD, that is equal to 180. Since alam na natin yung measure ng EFB natin, that is 47, so kunin na lang natin to. So 180 minus 47, the measure of angle BFD is equal to, the measure, is equal to 133. Okay. Another so, ito ay kagaya rin ng uh, question number 3 natin. Theorem number 4 pa din to, no? So, suppose your arc EB is 6x plus 5 and yung arc CD natin is 4x plus 15. Find the measure, uh, and then yung angle BED natin is 120. So, ito ay 120 class. So, yung B AD natin, your BFD da rather, so that is VFD, so change natin para di kayo malito. Okay, so again, your arc BFD natin is 120. Okay, so uh, the measure of your angle BFD is 120 degree. So, paano natin gagawin? So, first, find the value of X. So, paano natin kukunin yung value ng X? We all know class, kapag kukunin natin no kung kukunin natin itong angle na to that is one half no one half nitong dalawang intercepted arc so let's say we have so applying the number 4 theorem no so again kapag kukunin natin yung angle EFB that is one half the sum of two intercepted arc so let's say angle EFB is equal to one half times the uh, measure of arc EB plus the me measure of arc CD. Since yung measure ng arc EFB natin is 60 degree, bakit 60? Kasi nga, may given tayo na BFD na 120 degree. Since linear sila, so since linear, 
uh, their measure is sup, uh, 180 degree. Kasi sabi nga, di ba, uh, the angles form a linear pair, their measure is supplementary, and that is 180 degree. So, kung 120 yung B, angle BFD natin, so, ibig sabihin, yung sukat nito is 60 degree. Okay? So, that is 180 degree. So, substitute lang natin. Yung angle EFB natin is 60 times 1 half of ano yung given arc EB natin, 6x plus 5. And yung arc CD natin is 4x plus 15. And then, simplify 6x plus 4x, that is 10x. 5 plus 15, that is 20. And then, 1 half of 10x, that is 5x, and 1 half of 20, that is 10, or that is 5x plus 10. So, solve for x, so lipat natin si 10 dito, so that will become 60 minus 10, that is 50. And then, divide both sides by 5, since meron tayong 5x, divide both sides by 5, so 50 divide 5, the answer is 10. So, yung value ng x natin dito is 10. Next, Ano ngayon ang measure ng arc EB ito? So, that is 6x plus 5. So, substitute lang natin yung value ng x. So, 6 times 10, that is 5. So, therefore, 65. And then, what is the measure of arc CD? And the, substitute lang din natin. 4 times 10, that is uh, 40. Plus 15, that is 55. Okay? So, this is the last question. If your arc AD, so this is theorem number 4, ano uh, ay 5, theorem number 5. If your arc AD class is 149, so ito yon. And then yung angle APD natin is 39, ano ang sukat ngayon nito? Okay, so ang tinatanong is yung isang intercepted arc. So, sabi sa theorem number 5, if a secant and tangent intersect in the exterior of a circle, then the measure of the angle form is one half the positive difference of the measure of the intercepted arc. One half the measure of its intercepted arc. No, the, if a, dapat a second tangent in the, no, wrong, this is, dapat hindi ito yung theorem niya. Okay, wait. Okay, class. Balik tayo. Okay pala. Tama pala yung ano natin. This is theorem number 2. So, again, if a secant and tangent intersect in the exterior of a circle, then the measure of the angle form is one half the positive difference of the measure of intercepted arc. So, since ang hinahanap natin dito is the measure of arc AB, so, again, substitute lang natin yung mga given muna. So, yung given angle APD natin is 39 and then yung arc AD natin is 149. So, paano gagawin dito? So, first, okay. So, we all know class that is, okay, multiply lang natin, no? Para makuha natin, mawala yung fraction natin dito. 2 times 39, that is 78. Is equal to 1 times 149, that is 149. 1 times negative, that is negative uh, measure of arc AB. So, since ito yung kinukuha natin, lipat natin siya sa kabila. Tapos, si 78, lipat din natin dito. So, yung arc AB, di ba, negative. So, magiging positive na siya. So, 149 minus 78. So, the measure of arc AB is 71. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.